So ladies and gentlemen, today or tomorrow, depending on your location, is the most auspicious occasion of Pandav Nirjal Ekadashi, today or tomorrow. So if you are in India or the East, it's tomorrow. And if you are in the West, then it's today. All right. So what is Pandav Nirjal Ekadashi and 10 things that you must do <laughs> on Pandav Nirjal Ekadashi. But what is it? So as you know, in the Vedic tradition, there are special days like uh, Ekadashi. So Ekadashi is the uh, 11th lunar day. Okay, And it is uh, the Tithi Lord of Ekadashi is Mars. And on Ekadashis, it is uh, recommended that we fast from grains because whenever you, you, you offer grains to uh, Lord Vishnu, uh, he accepts it. But on the day of Ekadashi, he does not accept. Okay, So therefore... On Ekadashis, it is highly recommended that we take food without grains. We can take fruits and, you know, you can take a lot of things like, you know, vegetables, buckwheat and all this. But grains are not recommended. And uh, then we have the story of Pandav Nirjal Ekadashi where we know Bhima, one of the five Pandavas next to Yudhishthir Maharaj. He had a voracious appetite and he could not follow uh, Ekadashis, okay? So for him, it was very difficult. Uh, and those days, generally, you know, if there was Ekadashi, they would not even eat anything or drink anything. So then Bhima went to Vyasdev. Vyasdev is the one who has written or compiled all the Vedic literatures, most of them. So he went to Vyasdev and he said, please help me. I, I can't do it. I can't do fasting. It's not possible. So what should I do? And then Vyasdev said, no, no, you have to do Ekadashi. You can't, you know, just not do it. That's not possible. And then Bhima pleaded, 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 and he pleaded. And then Vyasdev said that there's one special Ekadashi, which, <clears throat> which is exactly this Ekadashi. That day, if you don't eat or you don't drink anything, forget grains, vegetable fruits. If you just do nothing, uh, you eat nothing on that day, then you will get the fruit of all the other Ekadashis. Okay. So therefore, what are 10 things that uh, you, you can do during this Nirjal Ekadashi, which will actually benefit you very much? Because Ekadashis, as you know, is uh, Ekadashi Tithi is very dear to Lord Vishnu. And whatever you do on Ekadashi, the good and the bad is multiplied by, you know, 100,000 million billion times. All right. So, the first thing that you should do uh, is, of course, <laughs> which is fasting. So fasting uh, for around 36 hours. So, for example, if you are in India and uh, you are seeing and today is Monday, Monday 17. So then you take dinner today and tomorrow you don't take anything, no food, no water, nothing. And then exactly on uh, Wednesday, which is uh, the Duadashi Tithi, that time, uh, depending on your location, you know the Paran time, you can check it in drikpanchang.com and you break your fast with water, okay, or with food also. So essentially, it's like uh, around uh, 36 hour fast. So essentially, no food or water. So if you can't do that, then uh, do without food, but with water. If you can't do that, then with water, and with grains okay so that is the bare minimum that you should do okay so you could take sabudana varai or uh, if you are in europe you can take buckwheat and all this okay so this is one thing uh, which is the most important on this tithi uh, on ek this ekadashi because you know this uh, this will purify your body mind and you know it will it it will help you do more tapasya and you will do more spiritual practices but of course, do it at your uh, own ease. If you can't, then then just don't attempt it, okay? It may not be possible for you if you have not been doing it always. Then number two, very important. On the day, the day of Ekadashi, please rise early. And uh, especially in the Brahma Muhurat, you know, wear uh, clean clothes, which you have uh, not, uh, which, which is like you are wearing for the first time, okay? Or washed clothes, okay? Uh, don't wear unwashed clothes, please. So, uh, get up during Brahma Muhurat, uh, take a bath in cold water preferably and preferably try to wear white clothes, uh, which is like, you know, fresh clothes. 
and that will set you for a very good spiritual tone for the rest of the day. Number three, this is very important that you should offer prayers to Lord Vishnu, Lord Krishna, Hari, Lord Narayan, uh, because this Titi uh, is specifically dedicated to Lord Vishnu himself. So therefore, uh, many times, you know, people, uh, they have Shaligram Shilas, you know, they do worship of Shaligram Shila, or you can offer bhoga, you know, food cooked without meat, fish, eggs, and onion and garlic that you can cook and put a tulsi leaf on that and you can offer, you know, so when you offer the bhoga and then uh, that becomes prasad, then you can honor it the next day. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, you can also, you know, do this uh, arti, you know, ghee lamp. You can offer, you know, with fire. You can offer water. You can, as Krishna says in the Gita, patram pushpam phalam toyam. Okay. And you can also offer fruits, you know, flowers, incense and all this. Okay. We were whatever is comfortable for you. You can chant mantras like Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Then you can chant Om Namo Narayana. You can chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. You can also chant Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya. You can chant Om Namo Bhagavate Narsimhaya. You can chant Balaji Mantra, Venkateshwar Mantra, whichever mantra you are comfortable that. This is this is maybe the most important. This is even more important than fasting, okay? Because in Kali Yuga, the path of deliverance is through the holy name of God. So, the, the more you chant the holy name of Lord Vishnu, the more you will be purified because the holy name of Krishna is not different from Krishna himself, okay? So, number four, very important, try to read the holy text. So, you can go online and read more about, you know, Pandav Nirjali Kadashi, <clears throat> or you can go to my channel you will find you know every last six seven years i have made many videos at least two three videos you will find so that you can see and you can get to know about the ekadashi mahatmya which is like uh, knowing about the greatness of that day okay so this is important you can read the vishnu sasnam you can listen uh, then you can uh, read the ramayana the mahabharata bhagavad gita now, especially the Mahabharata and Bhagavad Gita is recommended because these characters are from the Mahabharata, of course. <clears throat> or you can read any other scripture, you know, the Vedas, Puranas, but don't forget to read the Mahabharata. This is very important. Now, number five is you can, uh, uh, apart, along with the mantras, you know, you can uh, chant some stotrams, you know, like um, for Narasimha Dev, you can chant, you know, Ugram, Viram, Mahavishnu, Jalantam, Sarvato, Mukham. So, the, these things you can chant. So, there are different stotrams, there are different stutis, you know, these things you can chant after you finish your mantras, you know, as Vishnu Sasram also comes in that. <coughs> so, uh, these repetitive chanting will actually help you because uh, they are very, uh, they, they, are, they, they are incredibly powerful, okay. So, therefore, don't think that, you know, uh, you, you can just do one or two things. There are so many things you can do. So, uh, also, it's very important that whenever you are, whenever you are doing some spiritual practice, try to be in a mood of humility and uh, try to be very prayerful from inside. So, when you do this, then what happens is it becomes easy for you to connect to to Ishwara, to Bhagwan, to Krishna, then then it becomes relatively effortless. Okay, otherwise, if you are too stubborn or you are you know too much full of yourself, too much puffed up, you know, then you you cannot you know uh, chant you know either the mantras or the different stotrams. Okay, so try to be in a prayerful mood and you know try to connect deeply with the divine. That's important. Then number six is very crucial. You should do some meditation. Now, meditation, you know, it could be, you know, any kind of meditation that you are comfortable. But what is most important is that you should meditate on the form of Krishna, on the form of Ram, Narsimha, Vishnu, and, you know, their pastimes, you know, their qualities and, you know, their holy name. So, not just silent meditation, closing your eyes and thinking of nothing, you know, because then we only think of ourselves, right, to be, to be honest. So, uh, after you read the Ramayana, the Mahabharata, you know, the Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, then you can just close your eyes and think of the great Leelas that Krishna had done. You, know, you can think of the great devotees like Prahlad Maharaj. You can think of none other than the Pandavas, including Kunti Devi and Devi Draupadi. Okay, so these are very great personalities. You can think of Parikshit Maharaj, you know. So, immerse yourself in these 
past times basically that's the essence of this day nothing more than that e either ways you do it number seven very 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 important on this special day please don't forget to take blessings from your elders and especially your gurus okay so if you have personal access to your shiksha guru or diksha guru then please go and take blessings from them don't forget and uh, take their blessings take their guidance and you know re uh, contemplate on their teachings and try to see you know how their advice and the advice of the scriptures you know how they are actually benefiting you and what else should you do in your life to become a better sadhaka basically right and number eight is of course incredible this is must again every point is a must <laughs> number eight is you know you should give some charity okay now uh, you may not do random acts of charity you may do it you know it's up to you but the highest form of charity is one which is given to a spiritually elevated person because that person will utilize the charity for good purposes you know for spreading spiritual knowledge so when spiritual knowledge spreads then a person's mind is controlled society has good culture society has good mind control and only then their habits can be transformed okay otherwise just doing mundane charity is not bad it's okay it's good it's better than doing nothing but it's not the best but again nonetheless you can give it as per your shraddha as per your belief you know but if possible to some extent give some charity to some great soul you know some great guru or some spiritual organization where there is distribution of spiritual knowledge, you know, literature and the holy name, you know, so that will help you. Number nine, this is not must, this is super must, <laughs> which is uh, try not to uh, break any uh, regulative principle or try not to, you know, harbor malice against anybody. At least do it for one, one day. I know it's very difficult sometimes, but at least we need to do it for one day. So please try to avoid, you know, taking alcohol or any kind of intoxication you know like especially uh, tea coffee or even chocolates and try to avoid taking onion garlic and try to avoid any forms of intoxication alcohol cigarette uh, all this you know then drugs of course <laughs> and most important is you know try to avoid any form of meat fish or eggs and um, even more important is to abstain from any sexual activity especially illicit sexual activity you know like watching adult material in the internet or you know premarital sex extramarital sex or whatever you know so please avoid even if you're married uh, <laughs> not recommended today all right so uh, avoid the poison uh, okay so any activity that makes you more animalistic please avoid that okay and number 10, most importantly, you should sit and reflect on your spiritual journey. Where you were, think of yourself, you know, six months back, you started some uh, some spiritual practice. One year back, you started. Two years back, or maybe 10 years back, or maybe 20 years back, you started something, you know. Sit down and think how far you have come. What are the things that you did good? And what are the things that you could not do? Okay. How can you do the things that you did not do and how can you maintain doing the things that you did so these are very interesting okay so self introspection is very important and among all of these the chanting of the holy name is most important and seeking blessings from your gurus and also one thing uh, you could take this as a bonus thing that you can do point number 11 is that you know if you get a chance invite some very great personality in your house you know great personality does not mean politician or super uh, cricketer or you know film stars but somebody who is very elevated you know who is very spiritually uh, connected to god so if you can invite them to your house and you can feed them of course they may not uh, eat because they might be following so you can invite them on the next day of duadashi okay so also you can do all this in the next day which is Dwadashi. so then also you can do spiritual practices you can do donations you know so all these things you can also do for Dwadashi. okay but primarily the most important activity in Dwadashi is to 
feed brahmins and um, brahmins you know not just by birth you know like uh, in india you know there are many brahmins you know who are eating meat and all this so you don't have to feed them but uh, you will find some very elevated person you know in your city or in your town or you can do some online donation you know so you, on the day of duadashi at least and also on the day of ikadashi you can anyways do donations okay you can donate to cows you can donate to uh, cow protection uh, centers you know and most importantly wherever there is uh, exploration and spreading of spiritual knowledge all right thank you so much for your patience i hope you got a good idea of what you could do and please let me know how are you planning to spend this divine day of pandav nirjal ikadashi and before you go please do not forget to thank two people who are those two people one is bhim and the other is vyasdev because if bhim would have not asked this question vyasdev would have not given this you know answer where you know just you do one ekadashi and then everything else is done and dusted okay so of course we should also do the other ekadashi we should not just only do this and forget everything but at least try your best even if you cannot do nirjal you do sajal which is with water and without food if you cannot do sajal also then do with fruits or you do with fruits and sabudana varai and buckwheat and all this that's it <laughs> don't take greens <laughs> all right thank you so much if you are new then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to watch the other ekadashi uh, nirjal ekadashi videos in my channel you will know what this festival is and for horoscope consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section and if you are new don't forget to subscribe to the channel and for the end god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure at least on the day of nirjal ekadashi definitely take care jai shri ram